Hello everybody, Lisa here. Welcome back to my channel. So this is another everyday witchcraft video and in this one I'm going to be crafting a roll-on prosperity oil that I can use to draw in more of that lovely money and prosperity energy. So I have a few things here that I already have access to that I'm going to pull into practice but I'll talk to you about some alternatives that you can do and I will remind you that as with most magical workings the most important piece here is going to be your intention. So beyond some very very basic ingredients a lot of this stuff is not required these are just things that I'm going to show you how I'm going to craft this for myself so to start with I actually am going to clear a little space for myself here I've got everything sort of within reach but I don't need to have everything in my way so I have my incense burner here and I am going to be burning some um, Egyptian prosperity incense that came in my last witch's moon box Oops, bump my table, don't do that. Um, so I'm just going to light that and then put that in my holder and set it out of the way so that I've got the smoke happening but not interfering. And with everything I do throughout every step of this process, I like to set my intention. Perfect. Got a nice glowy red tip. I'm gonna just stick that in my holder and get this out of the way. I think it's important with, again, with any working, um, you can add as many layers of meanings to it that you like. I think what I like about making my own and crafting sort of my own spells and workings is the freedom I have to do it my way, to pull into the practice the things that resonate the most with me, and to kind of go from there. So I like to sort of cleanse everything that I'm going to be using. I won't need this sigil for a little bit, so I'm going to set that aside, and I'll talk about that more in a bit. So the main thing I'm going to be working with here is a container. So I have here a glass roller ball. You can find these almost anywhere. I actually got a set of three of these in an inexpensive set at Walmart um, to make your own perfume oils. So I was like, oh, perfect. It's got a little plastic roller ball, nothing fancy. But you can get, if you look on Etsy or other places, probably Alibaba and stuff, you can find glass roller balls like this that have crystal um, roller balls and you can get them in sets and I do want to someday do that I just haven't done it yet so I'm going to be adding crystal energy by putting some chips into my container but first I just want to cleanse the container here that I'm going to be using so that everything is coming at stuff from a fresh start so I have my smudging bowl it's seen a lot of <laughs> use and has a big chip in it um, and then I have a juniper and I think there's some sage in here I think it's mostly juniper uh, cleansing smudge here and I also have Palo Santo you can kind of use whatever you like I could have even just used the incense which also has a prosperity um, uh, aroma to it like it's got like cinnamon and herbs in it that also work with prosperity but I'm going to just use my um, cedar smudge here where's my lighter there we go and get some smudge going Make sure that if you're working with fire, that you're working with fire safely um, and that you have a fireproof dish. Oh, it's sparking a little bit. Perfect. Sorry if I just blew into the microphone. I'm so sorry. I needed to get that going. Perfect. So now that I have a good burn going, I'm just going to run the smoke into the container. Sorry that my arm is totally in the way. Make sure that it is cleansed both inside and out. And same thing with the little roller ball. I'll try to get my hands a little further back so they're not so giant. There we go. And the lid. Perfect. And that's enough for me. So I'm just going to put that in the sand to let it extinguish and set it out of the way. Perfect. So I've got my pieces. I don't want to lose this little roller ball. I'm so worried it's going to just like disappear. <laughs> so next I'm going to talk about uh, herbs because I'm going to be putting all my dry ingredients into this bottle before I add my oils. So you can hear my wife sneezing in the background. <laughs> okay, so I have just a basic uh, marble mortar and pestle here and I'm going to be using sweet wood. This is just cinnamon bark. Cinnamon is really great for prosperity. I feel like my hands are giant. I'm going to pull this back. <laughs> uh, it's probably just my camera angle, but I'm going to put a little bit of that in there. It doesn't break down very easy, so I don't want a ton. I've got like a little pinch. You can see that my, bo my bottle is pretty small. Actually, that might be too much. Perfect. That's probably about right. I don't need a lot because I don't want this to be so full of herbs that it's not going to work properly as a roll-on. And then I have red clover, which is great for drawing in 
um, prosperity, but it's also good about helping you to hold on to the prosperity that you do have. So it's kind of a dual effect, which I really like. And lastly, I'm going to use bay leaf. Now bay leaf, I think I'm going to try and see if I can find a small enough piece that I can just sort of tuck it in more, not whole, but at least without grinding it up. I find that bay leaf doesn't grind up very well to begin with. Um, there's a little leaf in here that's really cute that if I could just, let's see, there it is, that little guy. So I'm going to see if I can curl that and just stuff that in the bottle. So I might have to snap it. Oh, yep, it snapped. Okay, then you know what? I'm going to take that piece, that smaller piece right there, and I'm going to put it right in the bottle. The other herbs I'm going to grind just a little bit. So there's that. I'm just going to slide that guy in there so he's nice and whole. And with this, I like to grind when I'm drawing in energy. I like to grind in a clock clockwise motion while focusing on my intent and I don't need these to be pulverized but I enjoy the act of using the mortar and pestle so that I can focus my intention looks pretty good to me again it doesn't need to be pulverized I just like the action of doing that perfect so I'm gonna just pull these into a little pile grab my bottle and just sprinkle these in. You don't need a lot here. You're looking for the energetic quality of the plant. Um, and I find that I want to, I usually find that I want to keep um, organic material to a small amount in my oils. Okay, that's probably good. Perfect. So that's about how much is in there. It's not a lot. I can set that aside. So next I want to add some pieces of jade to draw in some prosperity. Again, these came in actually the same inexpensive perfume kit or fragrance kit that these little roller balls came in. Um, and they look like they've been drilled to be beads, but that's all right. I just need the energy. I'm going to pick just a few pieces there. And I actually really enjoy when I'm working with oils, the sound when I shake it of the crystals in there. So, and I find that that's, yeah, that'll give me some good motion. Perfect. So I'm going to start adding my oils. So I would recommend, unless you have a really good dropper. Actually, I think I have a dropper. You know what? I do have a dropper. One sec. I just realized I have one right here. This actually came in the same kit. Sorry for bumping my camera there. I have one of these little um, squeezy, squeezy droppers. But I was just going to say... Um, Either way, make sure you've got a cloth or something underneath your working area that you don't mind getting oil stains on because you're most certainly going to spill if you're anything like me. So I'm going to put a bit of my carrier oil. So I am using, I should show you that before I unscrew it, um, fractionated coconut oil. So this is liquid at room temperature, um, which is the basic difference between this and regular coconut oil. Um, so it basically is a good carrier oil for massage oils and things like that. I just... I find that it's it's very scentless. It doesn't smell like coconut, unlike the solid version, and uh, it just works as a great base, and it keeps really well. It has an excellent shelf life. Okay, so I'm gonna pour this without, hopefully without spilling. I know I've got the dropper, but I want my carrier to just pour. Here we go. I'm gonna go about halfway with my carrier. For now, I can always top up set that aside. So the oil that I'm going to focus on primarily in this particular roller ball is one that I got in my Witch's Moon. This is Renanutet. <laughs> um, I've used this in a different working. Uh, and basically Renanutet is the Egyptian goddess of the harvest. And so specifically work around ensuring a bountiful harvest, which is the best way for me, I feel like, to associate abundance and prosperity. It's just you really want a good, um, a good harvest. So I am going to put a bunch of this in here as my primary energy. <gasps> and see, that's why you want a, you know, cloth that you don't mind that happening to because I totally just knocked it over. All right, I'm going to let that just do its thing. I'm not going to panic, she says with duress. Luckily, my herbs didn't come out, neither did my crystals. Let me just add some more of my carrier oil, carrier oil back in. Do, 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 do. It happens, I'm not gonna stress. Oh, I've got a little more than I did before, but that's all right. As long as I have room for my other oil. 
I do recommend if you spill oil on a cloth and you want to wash it, oh, a little bit of my herb came out there, but if you want to wash it in your washing machine, put a teeny little drop of dish soap on the oil stain before you put it in. Don't use very small amount, but it helps to get the oil stain out. So anyways, my Ren and Nutet oil here, I'm just going to use my dropper and draw some of that up. And I'm going to be pretty generous with this one because, again, I want this to be my primary energy. I'm not necessarily overly fond of the scent, um, which is partly why I wanted to add another oil as well. It's a, it's an interesting and sort of magic-y scent, um, but it's not it's not my favorite. And I, I do plan to use this on my skin, which is also why I used a carrier oil that I know agrees with my skin. And I'm going to add a little bit more here. Perfect. Works for me. Awesome. So that's my main oil. I'm going to give this a little sniff. Yeah, it smells basically just like this, um, even with the carrier. So this has a strong enough scent that I didn't need a lot of it to carry the scent. And lastly, I'm going to add a peppermint oil. Now, peppermint is just great in general for money manifestation. Um, and it is, though, it will make your skin feel cool, like icy hot. If you've ever used icy hot peppermint oil, pure peppermint oil on your skin, um, even diluted, will give you a tingly sensation. So I'm going to try to use just a drop or two, mostly just to pull in the peppermint plant energy. Um, I don't really want a lot of it in there, so I'm going to just see. Some of my droppers are faster than others. So let's see. Oh, there we go. I got like two drops. Perfect. Let me give it a sniff. Ooh, the peppermint mixes with that other oil really nicely and I love the combination. It smells so good, so that is perfect. Um, and I don't mind a little tingle. I'm probably gonna mostly be rolling this on my hands, um, probably anointing my wallet, things like that with this. Um, that's pretty good for fullness, but I'm gonna add just a little squeeze using my dropper this time of my coconut oil. I'm just gonna press and dab on my cloth to make sure the other oil is out. So I'm not going to accidentally put that in my carrier and pull up some. Okay, I have to show you this because this is real life, yo. Look what just happened. I totally just dropped my, I don't know how I'm going to deal with that. Not at all. So I've spilled something and I've managed to lose my dropper in my carrier oil. That's, that's a thing that just happened. I'm going to have to probably use some chopsticks or something and fish that out later. So I guess I'm doing this the old fashioned way with a little bit of pour. That's so funny. It's just real life, right? I'll talk to you about the rest of this spell here in a second. Okay, perfect. So it's topped up. Where's my little cap? There we go. Okay, so I have my roller ball. I'm going to just um, use my fingers to uh, add a little bit of oil to the roller ball so it'll hopefully start to roll a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Because they're a little sticky when they're dry, right? And I'm going to pop that in there. You have to push pretty hard to get it snapped in. Perfect. I'm going to add my cap. I've got a little bit of the oil from that I've been working with on my fingers, so I'm just going to anoint the whole outside. Again, sorry my hands are giant. i got to work on getting the camera just a little bit higher, I think. But anyway, there we go. So that is ready to go. I'm going to give it a good mix. Focus my intent. Oh. It's very, very pretty. I can see the jade. I love that. Nice. All right, next steps. Well, besides fishing that out, which I'll do after this video. I'll put that away for now. Uh, I'm going to pull my incense in just a bit closer. Move my herbs out of the way because I'm done with those. All right, and my oils I'm done with as well. Okay. Perfect. So, and my jade. All right, so now I have a card that I got in my Witch's Moon. This is from Ethany's Money Manifestation Cards. I'm probably going to pick up this whole deck because I just think this is really cool. Card stock is beautiful, um, but I like being able to use it like a mantra, um, specifically to pull in the energies in a working, so I'm going to set that there. I also have here the Sumatran Jade. Jade, you can see my fingers are still a little oily. I just made it shiny. Ooh. Um, this is really great for pulling in abundance and it's got a very steady and um, grounded energy so I feel like this is really good for pulling in the rooted kind of um, of prosperity the kind that's grounded in like reality not based on you know daydreaming that sort of thing oh look at my incense smoke is really going I'm gonna pull that back just a bit now <laughs> um, 
So yeah, I'm going to be using that. And then finally, I'm going to be using the Prosperity Sigil that came in one of my Witch's Moon boxes. Now, you could also make your own Prosperity Sigil, just even just um, crafting a design using the letters of the word Prosperity or just some of the letters. Anything that will kind of give you a shape that makes you think of Prosperity, perfect. So I'm going to be setting this on my altar with this card, like so with this piece of Sumatran. I'm going to see if I can get away with this. I'm going to put the jade there, and I think I might be able to put the oil right on it. But let's see if I can figure out a way. Probably not. I might be overly ambitious here. Let's see. It's going to totally not stay. That's okay. I might be able to prop it. I bet if I use another crystal, I could prop it. I really thought it was going to hold it. No? Look, it's... Oh, there we go. Yes! So I can lay it across its side that way. I just really want the jade to sort of hold and charge that energy. And see, it's pretty stable at that point. So, yay! So this is sort of for me to verbally see and read. The sigil is for charging. The jade is for charging. And I'm just going to leave that overnight and let that sort of soak up all that good energy. And then this can live with me um, in my purse. I can use this in my magical workings. I can roll it on my hands when I'm about to do any work involving money. Um, all of that kind of stuff. And because it's got oils in there, the herbs should keep very, very well. Um, they shouldn't degrade too much, but if they ever do, I can just redo this and I should be good to go. The little bit of essential oil in here will degrade over time. So just give it a sniff every once in a while. You want to you smell for any kind of rancid smell or anything that doesn't smell um, fresh anymore. But yeah, I'm really happy with how that turned out. So just a simple little prosperity magic roll on and I think I'm good to go. I'm going to clean this up and see if I can fish out my little um, dropper out of my carrier oil and I will talk to you all again very soon. Have a great day or evening wherever you might be. See you later. Oh, one last thing. Don't forget to click the like button and subscribe so you don't miss my future videos. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.